What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. Big shout out to the Pokemon Company International for hooking us up with some Rebel Clash Pokemon TCG product. We're gonna be cracking here on stream. Again, big thank you to the Pokemon Company for providing us with one Elite Trainer Box, one Rebel Clash Booster Box, and two theme decks that we are going to be open in here. Now these theme decks are uh, a big question right now because they have not been revealed yet on stream. So here is your first look at the theme deck lists. And I have not even got, I'm letting you guys look at them before I even get to read them. It looks like there is Great Balls, Professor's Researches, Sonia's Metal Energy, Dan, Dan, but notably, there is no boss's orders. So, uh, for all of you guys wondering, yes, boss's orders is a hollow rare in this set. So, boss's orders is going to be a big chase card out of Rebel Clash. And I am really excited to get this Rebel Clash booster box opened, get the Elite Trainer box open, and uh, check out these theme decks as well. Let's start things off with the theme decks. We said we wanted to show those off. So, First, we're going to be opening the Zacian theme deck, Sword Dog. And then we've got Shield Dog as well. We've got Sword Dog first, then Shield Dog. Uh, we're going to crack those things. Now, in the Zacian deck, it looks like we've got Zacian, Unpheasant, Tranquil, Pydove, Galarian Berserker, Galarian Meowth, Nosepass. All right, Dan. Awesome. Let's uh, let's just get in here. Now I'm really excited about the researches that are, that are in this deck. That's awesome. Research is one of the best draw supporters in the game right now. Also, I'm seeing some Sonya's in here. Sonya is another really cool supporter card in this set. Rebel Clash. We're going to be giving away all of the codes that uh, we open out of these. So stay tuned for that. If you would like to enter to win half of the PTCGO codes that I have in this Rebel Clash booster box, I'm going to be drawing two winners on the Twitch stream here. You can type tricky into the chat. Tricky is the keyword. You can type tricky into the chat for your chance to win. So we've got the usual suspects for a theme deck. We come with the... Uh, you know, we got the the kits right here that uh, have the little, uh, yeah, tells you some details. You got your set list right there, broken. Then we've got the Rebel Clash. This should be, no, oh, the playmat. I was going to say, where's the playmat? Yes, I always like seeing the playmat artwork because it's very clear that they do a nice job with it. Yes, we've got the beautiful doggo there, sword dog on the front, and then a nice place to put your prize cards, your deck, Discard pile on your bench, all of that. I've also got a little instruction booklet, how to play. Some, ooh, yeah, they're like shiny. Little hollow foil damage counters there. Fantastic. A Zacian holographic promo card. It's got two attacks, energy stream, metal, and a colorless. Attach a metal energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon and smashing edge. Two metal and a colorless. Flip a coin if tails. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. Very cool. And we've got the deck box as well as the coin. It's a gold sword dog coin. Very pretty coin there. Excellent. Uh, I know that a lot of uh, collectors collect the various coins. If you're a big fan of Zacian, then you're going to love that coin. And uh, this is, I believe, what a little packet here. What is, what is this? Not exactly sure. Ah, special condition explanation. So some little explanations on how to play. Excellent. Now let's get into the deck and actually take a look at the cards. Um, this is not ordered. So I'm just going to be looking at the various rare cards from the set. This is going to be my first look at a lot of these cards from Rebel Clash. Unpheasant's got an attack daunt during your opponent's next turn. The defending Pokemon's attacks do 50 less damage and air slash Three energy for 150 damage. Great for a theme deck. I mean, that is some really high damage output for energy cost ratio there. Uh, nose pass, completely colorless attack costs on that. So that uh, that is great for the nose pass. 10 damage for tackle. 
and three energy rolling tackle. On the nose pass, looks like Dan. Now everybody's talking about Dan. What is it about Dan that has got everybody so excited? Dan allows you to draw two cards and then you and your opponent play rock, paper, scissors until someone wins. I love that it says until someone wins. If you win, draw two more cards. Great. Rock, paper, scissors. And uh, they actually, they love rock, paper, scissors in uh, in Japan. It's like a, a big part of, uh, of you know, popular culture there. So rock, paper, scissors, big game in Japan. I do know that. And uh, that's why there's a bunch of Pokemon cards that involve the game of rock, paper, scissors. I know uh, there's a lot of rock, paper, scissors playing in Japan. So very cool there to see that carried over into the Pokemon trading card game. I would absolutely love to play a Dan in my deck just to play a game of rock, paper, scissors while playing Pokemon cards. I don't think it gets much better than that. Probo Pass. It's got two attacks. Gravitational Drop does 10 damage, plus 30 more damage for each colorless in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. And there is the new Stadium from this set that increases retreat cost by two. So it could be very good paired with that. And then Heavy Impact, two metal and a colorless to deal 120 damage. The Research is, oh yes. So the codes for this, we've got, I think, two copies of Research in this deck. One of the best draw supporters ever printed professor's research discard your hand draw seven cards gotta love that getting some value here in those theme decks halucha has got two attacks windfall nice consistency attack shuffle your hand into your deck then draw five cards and then speed attack for one energy does 30 damage hop as well as pokey kid some nice supporters there and a galarian berserker whose claw dagger attack does 80 damage times the amount of heads you flip you flip three coins so you could deal 240 damage for three energy if you're like turbo lucky sonya fantastic supporter card out of this set strictly better than pokemon fan club pokemon fan club is a supporter card that used to see a decent amount of play it gets two pokemon from the deck basic pokemon and puts them to your hand sonya allows to do just that or get up to two basic energy so i do love that about sonya and sonya's got a nice full art in this set as well metal saucer in the theme deck that's good. Very playable card played in one of the best decks in the format right now. Zacian ADP. Uh, another Zacian there. And another Research. Another Galarian Berserker. Dan the Man. Still got Dan. Excellent. More Metal Saucers. And I think that just about covers all of the Pokemon in the Zacian deck. Now we're going to be taking a look at the Zamazenta theme deck. Now let me know in the Twitch chat, are you a Zacian fan or are you a Zamazenta fan? Press 1 if you're team Zacian. Press 2 if you're team Zamazenta. I'm actually very curious. We got any Zamazenta fans? Who who out there likes Shield Dog more? Now we know about, we know about all these. 2 if you like Zamazenta more. Wow, we got some 2s. Got a lot of 2s. Save the code. The codes each got couple copies of research and we do have shield dog guard press a metal and a colorless does 30 damage during your opponent's next turn takes 20 less power rush two metal and a colorless flip coin if tails during your next turn this pokemon cannot attack very cool and of course we've got the nice artwork i didn't show off the artwork oh no okay i'm gonna go get i'm gonna go get it over here we need ah Shield Dog artwork. It's the best part about the theme deck, showing off the playmat. Okay, I tossed it. So there we go. We yeeted the playmat, but I've got it back. Here he is, Glorious Shield Dog. And you got to respect that artwork there. I mean, the artwork just looks amazing. This is a, you know, theme deck exclusive artwork for these Pokemon. So you got to take a look at the theme, you know, the theme deck mats. That's very cool. There's Shield Dog for all you Shield Dog fans out there in all its glory. And then let's get to cracking this uh, deck and see what we got inside of it. Nice little shield dog deck box as well. Theme deck exclusive in this deck. Got another non-hollow copy of the Zamazenta as well as shield dog coin. Don't let me forget shield dog coin. There he is. Shield dog coin. Beautiful. Corvus Squire. It's got a couple attacks. Pluck before doing damage. Uh, discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active Pokemon and then drill pack two for 50. Rookie. And then I'm thinking that there's going to be, where's the Corviknight? Oh yeah, there's a Corviknight in here. 
the leaks. I had to know. I'm just going to leave this here for you guys. Dan. Dan the man. Shout out to all the three-letter cards out there. Dan, Hop, How. They're all, they're all good. Instant classics. Got to love that. Big Dan meta for sure. Who's all going to be playing Rock, Paper, Scissors? Playing Dan. More researches in the deck. That's great. More Metal Saucers in the deck. That's great. And we got some Pharaoh Seeds. Makes you think that there is uh, going to be a Pharaoh Thorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we've got more Sonyas as well. Sonya's great. Corviknights. The Pokemon we wanted to see. 170 HP. Great for a Stage 2 Pokemon. Peck for 1 energy. Does 50 damage. And then Iron Wings. A metal and 2 colorless. Deals 130 damage. You may discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. If you do, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 100 less damage from attacks. That's pretty gnarly. I have to say, for a theme deck, that's the gnar right there. 100 less damage, and you've got Metal Saucers. Not to mention, you could just Iron Wings, deal 130 damage, take 100 less, and then next turn, you've got that one energy attack and do 50 damage uh, the turn after. So that is just uh, really rad. And we've got Potions in this deck playing off that shield dog concept there it doesn't take damage because it's got a shield deruludon deruludon metal sharpener you can attach a metal energy card from your discard pile to one of your pokemon this is a fantastic card for a theme deck tell you what energy acceleration in a theme deck you don't want to mess around with that that is just uh, really powerful you can power up some of your other pokemon 130 hp as well for uh you know a non-gx it's just great uh, fantastic non-Pokemon V. Good amount of hit points. Does a good amount of damage as well. Metal Sharpener accelerates energy. And Power Beam does 110 damage for three. Gotta love that. And then there is a Bisharp as well. Charge Order. Stack does 30 more damage for each of your benched Pokemon. Oh, your benched Pawnyard. Yes, this is the one from Sword and Shield. Recognize that one. It was in a lot of the Sword and Shield build and battle kits. There's another Corviknight in the deck. And Ferrothorn, I think the last Pokemon that we have not seen yet. Ferrothorn, it's got two attacks, triple smash for one colorless. Flip three coins, this attack does 30 damage for each heads, and then energy slap for two metal and a colorless. You may move all energy from this Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon. Very cool, getting to conserve your energy there with energy slap, and the fact that you may move the energy. You don't have to move the energy, you can. So in theme deck, that is incredible because you get to conserve your energy attachments. When the Ferrothorn's about to get knocked out, you can energy slap, move all the energy off, and then if it happens to not get knocked out, you can use Triple Smash for just one energy. I think the Ferrothorn is just a fantastic card uh, for theme deck play, as well as the Corviknight. I mean, that's extremely powerful. Iron Wings, discard two energy. Uh, I have to say, as far as these two decks are concerned, I think that the Shield Dog deck, the Zamazenta deck, it's definitely my favorite. I've got some, you know, really, uh, we got some really cool attacks in this uh, Zamazenta deck here between the Ferrothorn, the Duralodon, and the, um, and the Corviknight, or the, uh, yeah, and the Corviknights. I mean, we've got some really cool, really cool attacks there. Uh, so that's it for the theme decks. Thanks again to the Pokemon Company International for providing this awesome Pokemon product for us to show off here on Tricky Gym. We are giving away the codes from this Rebel Clash booster box as well as the codes from the theme decks as well as the codes from the ETB. So I'm going to draw two winners for the, uh, for the booster box. I'm going to draw a winner for the theme deck codes, and I'm gonna draw a winner for the Elite Trainer Box codes. So it's gonna be four winners in all, and you can type Tricky into the Twitch chat for your chance to win. Let's go ahead and get it kicked off with uh, the Elite Trainer Box. We're gonna save the best for last, y'all know. Y'all know the deal. ETB, we've got a big old copperage of Emacs there on the front. Or Gigantamax. I'm used to calling them V-Maxes now because that's what the Pokemon, you know, trading card game calls them. But a Gigantamax, 
Copperage, you can tell it's Gigantamax, because just look at it. And it's got the swirlies around its head. That's like a little cheat. We've got nice little artwork on the booklet there, player's guide. And check those out. Look at that box. This is a new Elite Trainer box design, chat. Look how sleek that is. Okay. Okay, chat. Look at that. We got a new, we got some new digs on the ETBs, chat. Some new construction on that. That's kind of nice. Now we've got a little guide in there. Okay. A little how to play guide. Excellent. So, you know, we've got the, the box art dog duo there on the front. We've got some new designs. Wow. I love these. Oh, I love these. These are going straight into the tabletop playing kit. These are awesome. And thank you so much, Gary, for that Twitch Prime sub here on Twitch. Appreciate it, Gary. I do love these. That that looks phenomenal. Yeah, let's uh, show these off real quick. New poison and burn markers from the Elite Trainer box made of nice plastic. Looks like uh, acrylic. And the artwork on them, super cool. Uh, I personally love the poison one. I mean, that poison marker is just phenomenal. We can, we can see that there. Yeah, love that. Definitely into those. And then the new design on the ETB with the Caparaja there. We've got some divider. Look how yellow those are. Well, I think my camera is just, my camera's making those look a little bit more neon than they are. They are just yellow. My camera's white balance right now, picking that up a little neon. But very cool arts on the Caparaja um, dividers. And then we've got the dice. And check these out, chat. We've got some new dice with different damage counters on them. So this is really exciting. With Pokemon getting up to 300 HP, we need bigger dice. Check that out. We have got the set symbol from Rebel Clash on the rolling die there. Love that. Yellow is my favorite color. So that is, uh, that is busted. And then we also have individual HP numbers on each of these. Looks like the biggest one, maybe 160, 180. Is 180 damage on one die. With Pokemon having over 300 HP, uh, it makes sense to have dice that have bigger numbers on them. So I believe this is the first time, maybe, unless there was this in the uh, Sword and Shield set as well. Maybe it's the Sword and Shield thing. Uh, I do I do forget if this is uh, not the first time, but it's the first time I've seen them. Anyways, I did not get to open a Sword and Shield Elite Trainer box. So I'm very excited about these new dice. And I think that that is, uh, that is epic for sure. We've got the new energy as well. Apparently the Sword and Shield base set also included dice like that. So very cool. I'm just learning that because I did not get, uh, did not open one of those. So that's super rad. Really stoked about those new dice. And then of course the new energy design looks absolutely amazing on these new Sword and Shield set energy. Gotta love that with the flame coming off of the energy symbol. Uh, the design on these energy just looks very crisp. And I love that, especially the lightning ones, because lightning is my favorite type. Then we've got the code, giving away that code to a lucky winner there. And of course, the Caparaja sleeves. Sick for all you Caparaja fans out there. Finally, I know, I wanted to show off all the swag. Now it's just straight pack opening from here on out. And that's how the Elite Trainer box looks when closed. In case you guys were curious, that's how the new design looks right there. So still closes nicely, seems firm. It's actually easier to open because you could just grab the bottom of the box there and you know pop it on, pop it off. So I do really like that. Still seems firm and solid. So great design on those Elite Trainer boxes as well. And uh Finally, chat, we get to open some packs. So let me know in the chat, what card are you most excited about from Rebel Clash? Now, let's see, how am I doing these codes? All right, the codes getting taken off stream here. Thank you so much, Brandon. For the 100 bits says, are there still fairy energy? Ah, yes, right there. There are still fairy energy for everybody wondering. Still got a couple fairy energy in there. Even though Fairy is 
no longer going to be a type in the Pokemon trading card game, um, which I think is totally fine. And I've talked about in many other videos, but uh, I think it's a great decision all in all, personally. But that is not the topic of this video. Here we are opening Rebel Clash cards. We've got a Toxel, Litwick, Lotad, Dragapult. That's Infiltrator ability. This is actually really cool. This Dragapult can be very annoying. If any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin if heads prevent that damage. It's like Whimsicott GX, except it's on a non-GX, non-V Pokemon. Only worth one prize. It's like the Greninja promo, or not the Greninja from uh, Detective Pikachu. Very cool, Dragapult. And it's got a nice attack as well. Phantom Force, 120 damage. Put three damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. Our rare in the pack is a Mandy Buzz. Excellent. And uh, then we got Dark Energy. Dan. Can we get a Dan emote made here on Twitch? That would be, that'd be red. All right. Twin Energy and a Phalanx. Pack one. I whisked the code away because we're going to be drawing a winner for those codes here momentarily. We've got Magikarp, Metatite, Stunky, Grubbin, Wingle, Electrode, one of Natalie's favorite Pokemon. And it's got a nice attack name, Orb Collector. Let's see, will you focus, camera? Maybe. Maybe one day if we ask nice enough, you'll focus. Orb Collector. And then Rolling Attack. We thought that was funny. Natalie actually collects electrodes. So she collects that electrodes and she's got an electrode that collects electrodes as well. It's like meta. It's like an electrode collector within a collection, which is kind of crazy. All right. And Darmanitan. The snowy one. Galarian Darmanitan. Awesome. As our rare card. Metapod. And this artwork on this Metapod, my goodness. I mean, that's just fantastic. If that doesn't make you excited to just play the Pokemon trading card game, I don't know what does. Look at the knit artwork on that. Imagine being the artist. Imagine being the artist. What's the artist's name? Asako Ita. My goodness. Imagine being the artist here and getting to create a knitted metapod and taking a picture of that knitted meta metapod and then just being like, oh yeah, this is going to be on a Pokemon card. That's got to be like the coolest thing of all time. And thank you so much, Wake Up Super, for that Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Heliolisk, Burning Scarf, and code card, which we're going to be giving away later. Usually, just hoping for, you know, hoping for something out of the Elite Trainer Box. I get a hit. That'd be so rad. Stuffle. Coughing. I actually, can I just say for a minute that I love the new Dark type on Poison. Coughing. You look awesome as a Dark type. Love it. With suffocating gas. Gotta say, it's like got some mean farts there, Coughing. Shinx. Sandy Gast. Grubbin. Galarian Runigris. Another Metapod, Oleana. Oleana is a cool new supporter out of this set. Um, you can only play this card if you discard two other cards from your hand and your opponent reveals their hand. You put a trainer card you find there on the bottom of their deck. Nice little control option there for all you control players out there. In the chat, you know who you are. Oh, we got we got some chat. We got we got something. There's something. Something in this pack, chat. Can't even. I can't even, I can't even hide it. The leaks. Arakuda, Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe, Palo Sand. What do you guys think it is? I think it's full art. Yeah, we saw the bottom of it. No way! Let's go full art. Bosses orders. This is the card chat. This is the card from this set. Full Art Bosses Orders, the best card in the set. In Full Art, Giovanni looking incredible. What a rip there. Check that out. One of the best Gus cards ever printed. Bosses Orders, just a supporter card. Allows you to switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon out of the Elite Trainer Box. Thank you so much to the Pokemon Company International, sending this out to us here at Tricky Gym. Totally busted pull there. Insane full art bosses orders. Well, I'm glad we at least got one, chat. That's awesome. Scoop up net, Heracross and Electrode. Scoop up net, another great card out of this set as well. Scoop up net just allows you to put one of your Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon V or Pokemon GX into your hand. <laughs> uh, super good, playable with uh, Jirachi, Mind Report, Mewtwo, a whole bunch of different
combinations you can pull off with that scoop up net. And I think that's a card we're going to see a lot of going forward as well. Cannot believe, wow, the boss's orders pull. That's, whew, that's nuts. Sleeve it up. Yeah, it's cool. We're just going to be, I'm just not going to breathe on it yet. Okay. We've got Binacle evolves into one of the scariest Pokemon ever. Galarian Derumaka, Vulpix, Milkery, Galarian Farfetch'd, Luxio, Toxtricity. I like this guy a lot. Toxtricity is quickly becoming one of my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield. It's got a nice attack there, Poison Shout. It's attacked as 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So nice little spread attack. And thank you so much, Kyle9128, for that gifted sub. We also have Horror Psychic Energy. Nice little Rocky Helmet effect there for your Psychic Pokemon. Whenever the Pokemon it's attached to gets damaged by an attack, you put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Heat more, more Pico, and a code card we're going to be giving away shortly. Three more packs in the Elite Trainer box. Then we got a whole booster box to open chat. That is, uh, wow, it's awesome. Let's get this guy cracking. Trubbish evolves into the new Garbodor from the set. We can play with Toxtricity VMAX, inflicts poison. Gotta love that. This is one of my favorite artworks from the set. Amazing. Galarian Cursola. Looks like me hanging out at home on the couch lately with nowhere to go and nothing to do. <laughs> That's, this is me right now. Galarian Cursola, thank you so much for being relatable. And thank you, Pokemon, for printing such an incredible uh, card there. Hone Edge. What's the Trubbish's attack? Good question, another rack. The Trubbish's attack is Venoshock. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, the attack does 50 more damage. So it pairs with the Garbodor to deal some extra damage there. We got the Rare Zacian from the Theme Decks as our Rare and Lombre. Galarmine is a new supporter from this set. The Retreat cost of both active Pokemon is now two colorless more. Pairs really well with that uh, new Melodic V card. I know some people are stoked about that. Also, pairs well with Tangrowth. Both attacks do uh, more damage for the amount of retreat cost for the opponent's active Pokemon. Clefairy. I love Clefable. I love Clefairy. One of my favorite Pokemon lines of all time. And I think they look incredible as psychic type Pokemon. So I really love this switch up from the Pokemon company. It looks great. Uh, we've got uh, Shining Fingers. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Imagine Clefairy just putting you to sleep with their finger, right? Um, and then Magical Shot for 10 damage. Voltorb, Growlithe, Dreepy. And then we got a lot of Dragapult fans. And Milo, new supporter from this set as well. Discard up to two cards from your hand and draw two cards for each card you discarded in this way. It feels like Sophocles, a supporter card from a previous set, but it gives you some selection over how many cards you could discard and how many cards you could draw. So it's interesting for that. Arcanine, Metal Energy, Masquerade, Nugget. Nugget is an interesting new item card from this set with a new effect. You can play this card if you draw it from your deck at the beginning of your turn before you put it into your hand. Uh, I suspect that it is you can only play this card if you draw Yes, you can't just play it from your hand. You can only play the card if you drew it as your top deck for the turn. You draw three cards when you play it. So you could stack it onto the top of your deck with uh, the Primate Wisdom Oranguru or with Megcargo from Celestial Storm. And then you could draw three cards if you draw it at the beginning of your turn. And then Tranquil uh, is, uh, is our final card in that pack. Busted. All right, last pack from the Elite Trainer Box, but we definitely already won because we opened the boss's orders full art, which is just about the best card we could have possibly wanted from this set. Not to Barbaroach, Squabbit, Appelin, Timpole, Scyther. No way. No way. And we got a Hollow Rare boss's orders from the way. This is insane. Oh my gosh, chat. I cannot tell you. The odds of pulling two bosses orders in one elite trainer box is so minimal, chat. That is so small. You only open hollow rares about one every other box. And we've got, oh my goodness. I mean, we might not even get a boss's orders in the booster box. That's so crazy. And uh, we got Electrode, Skyla's back. Skyla. Search for a trainer card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Excellent uh, supporter card there, a classic.
think it's Skyla's third, maybe third, third or fourth reprint. Uh, I know I'm uh, stumbling on that a little bit, but Skyla is definitely a supporter guard we've seen before. So awesome to have Skyla back. Our two pulls from that elite trainer box, absolutely fantastic. Two bosses orders could not be happier about that. But uh, if you're just joining us here on Twitch, make sure to type Tricky into the chat and maybe you could open a boss's orders of your own in some of those code cards we're gonna be giving away at the end of the stream. Now moving on to the booster box, 36 glorious packs of Rebel Clash. We're gonna be giving away the codes from this as well. So type Tricky in the chat for your chance to enter and we're gonna draw all of the winners afterwards. Big thanks to the Pokemon Company International again for hooking us up with this Pokemon product to open early here on Tricky Gym. And let's just, let's get cracking chat. That's what I'm talking about. It's game time. I'm pumped. No more distractions, just, just us and some Pokemon cards. We got a Milkery, a Mag Mortar, Thanks so much, Wake Up Super, for those two gifted subs. A Cursed Shovel, that's a new item card from this set as well. It's a tool card. You get to, uh, if the Pokemon this card's attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, you discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. So it's a mill card in the form of a tool. And thank you so much for those gifted subs. Again, appreciate it. Yeah, Cursed Shovel, very cool. and. Phalanx. I know there's a lot of Phalanx fans out there as well. Phalanx has got a pretty cool Pokemon V card from this set also that uh, looks pretty dope. It uh, makes it so that your Phalanx take less damage for each Phalanx that there is in play. Each Phalanx V that is. Halucha and Seismitoad. Seismitoad. I still get shivers just reading Seismitoad's name because of uh, Quaking Punch. Years of getting Quaking Punched item lock Fortunately, no longer a thing. Carcol now is my favorite Pokemon from the Sword and Shield era. What's not to love about Carcol? Carcol has got coals on its back and it's a car. That is just amazing Pokemon design right there. Its eyes are great. Its mouth is great. It's it's a minecart. I mean, it's a it's a minecart that's on fire. I love Carcol. So Carcol is definitely one of the best Pokemon from this set. And happy the Carcol finally has a Pokemon card to call its own. Coughing here, the artwork on that coughing. I mean, he's just got like a smirk, looking like he just, you know, just let loose some gas, right? Looking really funny. We've got something in this pack chat, Roly Coley, and we've got a Rillaboom V, fantastic. Rillaboom V, fantastic new card from Rebel Clash. It's got two attacks, Forest Feast. For one grass energy, search your deck for up to two basic grass Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck, and then Woodhammer for four energy, does 220 damage, and you heal 30 damage from yourself. Fantastic rip there. Great for those Rowlet and Alolan Executor Rillaboom decks. Rillaboom VMAX does a ton of damage. Really excited to take a look at that card as well. Capture energy, really good for setup decks. It just allows you to go get a basic Pokemon out of your deck, put it onto your bench when you attach this card to a Pokemon. Really strong special energy. And uh, Shuckle there at the bottom of the pack. I think the Capture Energy, yes, could be very good in Whimsicott as well. Lampant, Gyarados. And if you're a Dariums fan, Gyarados, right? <laughs> Gotta love Gyarados. Excellent. Halucha, Ndidi, and a Code. I think the pack art for these packs, really cool as well. We got the... Toxtricity, Rillaboom, some of the starters there. Ooh, we got a full art Sandaconda chat. Check that out. Looking pretty sick. I love the artwork on these full art Vs. They look amazing. Sandaconda V is 220 HP and two attacks. Sand Eater, one fighting energy. Does 30 damage. You attach a fighting energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. And then Sand Breath. 220 damage, discard two energy from this Pokemon. Would hate to have Sand Breath. That uh, that would just be uncomfortable, I think. But Sanaconda, Sanaconda can handle it. And I love the, the coloring on that as well. Looks beautiful. It's got like this green going on, which is just really sick for a fighting type Pokemon to have a green artwork. I think that just looks absolutely stunning. 
And then we've got Full Heal Sonya and Masquerade with the code card we are giving away. Sanaconda, Rillaboom. So far, Let's see what else we got. Lotad, Clefairy, Pydove, Galarian, Cursola. It's got a really cool ability for a Hollow Rare. Parish Body, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack. Flip coin, if heads, the attacking Pokemon is knocked out. And uh, Corner, for a second, kind of colorless, does 60 damage in your opponent. Your opponent's Pokemon cannot retreat next turn. So Parish Body, really cool, can take free knockouts. Imagine if Pokemon V Max hits into the Galarian, and Galarian Cursola. You gotta think twice about that, because Galarian Cursola could just knock out that Pokemon V Max in return. Training Court is another incredible card out of this set. Do not underestimate how good this card is. Once during each player's turn, that player may put a basic energy card from their discard pile into their hand. It's like the Energy Stadium from the Neo era, but that card was a stadium that required a coin flip. This just does it for free. It's like an energy retrieval every single turn. This card is so good. It's like opposite Viridian. It's literally the opposite of Viridian. Instead of getting an energy out of the deck, it gets an energy out of the discard pile, but it does it for free. There's not much that's for free in life, chat, but this, this is a free energy from the discard pile, and that just feels really good. So I'm a big fan of uh, training courts. I think that card is really good and is going to see a decent amount of play uh, in the right deck. I really do think it will find a home somewhere. Got Mandy Buzz, Zamazenta, Curse Shovel, Masquerade, and Dewblade. I do love Dewblade. It's uh, my favorite Pokemon from the Aegislash line for sure. Dewblade. Something about two swords. Two swords. Too cool. For sure. Hone Edge, Wingle, Coughing, Toxtricity Reverse, Spiritomb. This guy is a goofy dude. Check out the artwork on this. Love it. I mean, that artwork looks amazing. It's got two attacks. Splitting Spite. Discard the top card of each player's deck. A little mill effect there. And then Dripping Grudge. Put one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Cool. I mean, could add up, right? I don't know. You got 30 Pokemon in the discard pile. Always got to take a look at cards that have infinite damage output right because you know maybe there's a way to get that damage to ramp up one damage counter for each pokemon in your discard pile love that galarian cursola scyther vullaby reverse car call swag galarian runicris as our rare card let's go ahead and tool scrapper back as a reprint finally some tool removal in standard format you choose up to two Pokemon tools, attach two Pokemon, both yours or your opponents, and discard them. Really powerful card here. So, gotta love that. And uh, then let's take a look at that Galarian Runagris, as well as our rare Spreading Spite. For each damage counter on Galarian Runagris, put two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. And then for fighting a two colorless Mad Hammer, 120 damage. This Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. Cool cards. Gotta love Tool Scrapper being back. I was able to dig up some of my old Tool Scrappers from, what was it, Dragon's Exalted, I think, which was super sick. Here we go, chat. Melodic V. It's got two attacks, 210 HP, water type Pokemon, Aqua Impact for a water and two colorless. Does 50 more damage for each colorless in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So, with the new uh, Galar Mine Stadium, you can increase the retreat cost as well as with Absol from Team Up, you can in increase your opponent's retreat cost even more and then deal huge damage with Aqua Impact. And then for four energy, one water and three colorless, Hypno Splash does 150 damage and your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Nice little two hit KO option there on Pokemon VMAX, but Aqua Impact is definitely the attack that people are stoked about on that... Uh, Melodic V. Now, Capacious Bucket. Getting a lot of hype as well. Not just for the name and the word Capacious. Because this bucket is Capacious. Now, I might have to look that word up, but I'm pretty sure it means that it is able to have a large capacity. It's a big bucket, right? Search your deck for up to two water energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So it's like a professor's letter um, yes, that's what I was That's what I was imagining. I was imagining we're getting confirmation in the chat. Yes, my definition is correct. It means high capacity. Yes, capable of, of having a lot 
of water put in it, right? Capacious. And uh, it's basically a professor's letter, but for water energy, uh, which is really cool. So definitely dig that. And I know that the Frost Moth decks are really going to enjoy that capacious bucket item card for sure. <laughs> Up next, Applin. I'm really excited about both of Applin's evolutions in this set as well. They're both hollow rares. We got a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. It's got an ability screen cleaner. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to all of your Pokemon that have energy attached. So a nice little uh, ability there that prevents effects of attacks, including damage. So, I mean, including uh, damage counters placed, right? So it could stop the likes of Dragapult VMAX from sniping damage to the bench, which is really cool. Thank you so much, Datazard, for the 100 bits and for watching the stream as well. Appreciate it, Datazard. And we got the Galar Mine there, Stadium which is just really good. We talked about that with the Melodic. Up next, Chargebug, Mandibuzz, Bronzong, Nugget, Skuntank. <laughs> We've got Roly Coley. I think Roly Coley is very cool as well. It's so one of my favorite parts of the Sword and Shield game, traveling through the Galar Mine. Snorlax is our rare there, and Training Court again. Snorlax, it's got two attacks, collect, draw two cards, three energy, collapse, 120 damage. Thank you so much, the Nighty Knights, for that Twitch Prime sub. Says, thank you for making amazing content. Keep it up, appreciate it. Helioptile, Voltorb, Sandy Gast, Dreepy, and Diggersby. It's got two attacks, Mining Rush. Discard up to six cards from the top of your deck. Yikes! If you do, this attack is 30 damage for each card you discard in this way. All right, so it can do 180 damage for three, but you have to discard six cards. Sometimes discarding cards can be good. So there's that. And then Hubbub Bounce for four energy does 110 damage. It's our rare card, Milo, Turffield Stadium. I haven't shown that card off yet. Incredible new stadium card from this set as well for grass decks. And there are some really good grass cards in this set. We already talked about Rillaboom V and Rillaboom V Max. Once during each player's turn, that may that player may search their deck for an evolution grass Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into their hand. That player shuffles their deck. Very cool. And Lombre. Lombre's got that ability. These guys, we got Lombre, Lamprint, and uh, somebody else. Top entry, right? Once during your turn... If you draw this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn, you may just put it onto your bench, which is like really wild. So I'm interested to see if any of those guys see any play either as uh, just an option to instantly get an evolution into play. Pretty cool stuff. Applin, Temple, Reverse Trubbish, and Arcanine. It's got an ability warming up. If this Pokemon has a Burning Scarf attached to it, it gets plus 100 HP. So 230 HP as a non-GX, non-V Pokemon, and an attack fire main, two fire and a colorless does 130 damage. So very cool. I mean, this could be a very tanky non-GX, non-V Pokemon, which is super sick. Him. Carcol and a Heatmore. We've got something in this pack. More Pico. And our first VMAX. We've got an Inteleon VMAX. 320 HP, water type Pokemon. It's got two attacks. Hydro Snipe for one water energy does 60 damage, and you may put an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon into their hand. So, energy denial, very strong in this format for sure, since a lot of decks are kind of just hitting the energy counts exactly for the attacks that they need, especially turn two, alter creation. Hydro Snipe seems very good. Max Bullet does 160 damage for two water and a colorless, and this attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So really powerful snipe attack there, and a really powerful one energy hydro snipe. So definitely like that Inteleon V Max. 320 HP is not to mess around with either. I mean, that's just like a huge Pokemon V Max. Scoop up net, awesome card too. Very cool. Inteleon VMAX is like a built-in Team Yelgrunt. 
very strong. It's just that energy denial, super good in this format. So I think that we could be seeing some Inteleon VMAX in some decks built around it. Electrovire. Electrovire is a card. I want to see like an Electrovire VMAX. I mean, I really love Electrovire. I think this card is super cool. Uh, I love this is a Pokemon. Uh, Electabuzz is one of my favorites from Gen 1 as well. It's got two attacks, Thundershock, Lightning and a Colorless, flip a coin to pitch. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed for 50 damage. And Electrified Bolt, two Lightning and a Colorless, 90 plus. If this Pokemon has any special energy attached, it does 90 more damage. So if you pair it with a new Speed Lightning, which we haven't seen yet in this booster box, you can deal 180 damage for three, which is really good. And a Tool Scrapper. Would really like to maybe find some Speed Lightning in this box. Hopefully we do. It's an uncommon, so I'm I'm thinking our odds are pretty strong of finding one. Appleton, check him out. A glorious card. It's got an ability, Delicious Aroma. Once during your turn, you may flip going if head. Switch one of your opponent's benched basic Pokemon with their active Pokemon. It's like a gust on a coin flip, but it's on an evolution, so you get to do it every single turn. So that's really cool. I love this card, and I think that card could definitely see some play. In decks that play Ditto Prism Star, it's like, you know, you could just slide one of those into the deck and have a 50% chance of gusting basic Pokemon, of which there are a lot in standard formats that you would want to uh, gust. We've got Galarian Weezing, who not only has an incredible artwork, but also a great ability neutralizing gas as long as this pokemon is in the active spot your opponent's pokemon in play have no abilities except for neutralizing gas and then severe poison puts four damage counters on your opponent's pokemon between turns instead of the usual one for poison so gotta love that card nice little ability locker there with the galarian uh wheezing bunnelby now bunnelby is getting some love in that next set and we've got Speed Lightning Energy. Finally, when you attach this Lightning Energy to one of your Pokemon, you get to draw two cards. Uh, you attach it to a Lightning Pokemon, you draw two cards. Fantastic card. I mean, I already love Boltund. I love Picaram. I love Raichu and Alolan Raichu. Tapu Koko V. Lightning's my favorite type. If you haven't figured that out yet by now, Lightning's definitely my favorite type. So Speed Lightning Energy, my favorite of the two special lightning energy, there's this and there's flash energy. Speed lightning energy is the one for me. I love this card. Drawing cards are just so good. So, you know, speed lightning energy just goes great in all your lightning decks. That's for sure. Um, getting to just draw two cards for free without playing your supporter uh, feels amazing. I have to say. Definitely helps with the consistency of your lightning deck. A reverse capture energy there and another Galar Mine. Great, and this is just amazing as well. I'm just so excited to be opening a pack, opening packs of Rebel Clash today. Thanks again to Pokemon for hooking us up with this product. Uh, it's just really cool opportunity to be able to share this with you guys on Twitch, and if you're watching on YouTube as well, thank you all so much for checking out the video. Uh, and thanks again to Pokemon for the opportunity here to share these cards early with uh, with the world. So that's that's really exciting to me. So thanks again to everybody watching and to Pokemon for the stuff. Now, I'm really hoping that we can get a Bolt Hunt. That would be that would make my day complete. We already got the full art bosses orders and the one bosses order. So that is is feeling like a dream come true. But I mean, if I had to be really greedy and say that uh, you know, there's one more thing that I want. It's definitely a Bolt Hunt V. Check this guy out. And I have to say, Pokemon, what you're doing with these full arts, it's it's phenomenal. Okay, this is amazing. The coloration on this thing is top notch. Inteleon V to go with our Inteleon V Max. The pink and the blue, I mean, my goodness, a beautiful full art card. I love that Pokemon is mixing up the background colors, not just making all the backgrounds of the full arts blue for water Pokemon, green for grass. The fact that we get some contrast here is really excellent. Inteleon V's got two attacks, Snipe Shot, stacked as 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. That's just good. I mean, we've seen how good uh, Garchomp and Giratina's turn one attack can be with its Snipe attack. This Snipe Shot is just very strong. And then Aqua Report, Two water and a colorless, 130 damage. Your opponent reveals their hands. Nice little hand check there. Inteleon V to go with our Inteleon V Max. And we've got 
Twin Energy, which looks a lot like Double Colorless. It smells like Double Colorless. It feels like Double Colorless, but it's not. It's Twin Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon V or GX, it provides two colorless energy. So some nice, balanced, double energy acceleration for your non-GX, your non-V Pokemon. Really love that Pokemon decided to make this decision with the Twin Energy. I think that is just very strong there, and I think that card's going to see a lot of play. It's going to open up a lot of opportunities for your one prize decks. So that is uh, just an excellent card for standard standard format, and uh, I think is going to be a card that could even see some play in expanded format as well. Wish Cash and a Barbaracle. Barbaracle, definitely one of the scariest Pokemon in existence. It's got a hand as a head and eyeballs on its hands and eyeballs on its hand head. Rock Hurl, fighting in a colorless. 50 damage, not affected by resistance, and then hand press, and it's got plenty of them. Fighting in two colorless. If you have more cards in your hand than your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. So 160 damage for three on a stage one Pokemon. And then there's the Lampent with the top entry ability as well. And on to the next one. Trubbish, Helioptile, Diggersby, Copper Raja V. Big Metal Elephant. It's got two attacks and 220 HP. Metal is one of the strongest types in the game right now. Not only does it pair well with RCS Dalgon Palkia, it also has the acceleration of Metal Saucer. Adamantine Press does 90 damage. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. And then Rack Down for three metal and a colorless does 180 damage. Copper Raja V Max is absolutely huge and a very strong card out of this upcoming set. So it'd be really hype if we could find ourselves a Copper Raja V Max to go with it. We've got another hit in here, chat. It's Toxtricity V Max. Let's go. I could not be more excited about this. Look at this. This box is nuts. This is our seventh pull of the box. Toxtricity VMAX, 320 HP, G Max Riot. For two lightning and a colorless, does 160 damage plus 80 more. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, there is the Garbodor in this set that inflicts poison automatically if you have a stadium card in play or your opponent has one, so long as there is a stadium card in play. And I just love Toxtricity VMAX. This, I, the, the artwork looks amazing. The pose looks amazing. The background looks amazing. This card is just a phenomenal Pokemon card. A beautiful card for sure. And uh, really stoked to be adding that to the collection. So great rip there. Capacious Bucket, Horror Psychic Energy, and another code. Yeah, great Pokemon overall. 10 out of 10 for sure. No way. And we've got a Pinchurin V. Our hits here have just been completely nuts. New lightning type Pokemon from Sword and Shield. It's got an ability Counter Attack Kerzap. If this Pokemon is in the active spot, it's damaged by an opponent's attack. You flip three coins for each heads. Put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So if you flip three heads, you're dealing 90 damage back to your opponent. Pretty insane. Imagine if you put a giant bomb on the Pinchurin V. You could deal 190 damage if your opponent knocks out the Pinchurin V and uh, and you flip three heads. I mean, that's a lot of ifs, but cool nonetheless. Two lightning and a colorless, sparking strike, 120 damage. Pinchurin, welcome to the family. Welcome to the welcome to the hit squad, Pinchurin V. There you go. You get to hang out with all the homies. We've got a bomb of snow. The reverse Stunky in this pack. More Pico there at the end. We've got about six packs left. And we have a really healthy amount of hits so far. So we're feeling good about this box. Even if we don't pull anything for the rest of the box. I mean, we're already just uh, swimming in Pokemon V and Pokemon V Max. So that's awesome. Hatterene. It's got a very cool ability. Hatterene, uh, I should say. Very cool ability there. Mind Hat. Once during your turn, you may use this ability. Each player discards a card from their hand. And then it's attack Dripping Grudge. For one psychic energy, put one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon for each Pokemon in your discard pile. So a nice little kind of unlimited damage output attack there. Uh, putting one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon for each Pokemon in your discard pile. And then Mind Hat discards Pokemon or just random cards from your opponent's hand. Great after a... Uh, 
reset stamp. Maybe you're stamping your opponent to a low hand size, and then you could use the Hatterini to completely remove their hand. A lot of control players playing um, Mars in order to obtain that effect. Nice to have that effect on a Pokemon as well. Galarian Farfetch'd. I know we got some Galarian Farfetch'd fans in the chat. What a cool dude there. Excellent. And then Greedent is our rare. It's got an ability, Greedy Tail. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Pokemon tool card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck, and then Tail Smack for 80 damage. Milo and Shuckle. You got three packs left, chat. Got Indeedy, Galarian Preserker, and Drac Dracloak. Excellent. Can we get one more hit? I think we did, chat. I think we got one more hit. I can't believe it. I was being really greedy asking for one more hit, but I think we did get one more hit. We've got Applin, Galarian, Daramaka, Bumblebee, Vulpix, Snorlax, and this IceQV. Check out this dude. I mean, not only is it amazing artwork, it's an amazing Pokemon, and he's just got an ice cube for a head. What's not to love about this thing? It's got an ability, Cold Absorption. Whenever you attach a Water Energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, during your turn, you get to heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Then Blizzard, nice little attack for two water and a colorless, does 120 damage, and it does 10 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Insane. Look how many hits we got out of that box. Incredible. A Skyla, a Luxio, and a Dracloak. Final pack, chat. And we got a Reverse Horror Psychic Energy, Burning Scarf, and an Oleana. So that is it for the pack opening. Check that out. Out of our Elite Trainer Box, we got a Full Art Boss's Orders and a regular Boss's Orders. Out of our Booster Box, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Pokemon V two of which are Pokemon V Max. So those are some incredible pulls, absolutely. And thanks so much again to Pokemon for hooking us up with this product to show off on the channel. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and check us out on Twitch, which is where we are live right now. Twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where we stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Thank you all so much for watching the video.